Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, let's explore about gene annotation, its importance, some key points about the gene annotations, along with some significant bioinformatics tool that you can use for gene annotation studies. Let's understand what is gene annotation. It's a process of identifying and describing the location and function of gene within a sequence genome. This involves determining the structures of the gene, including coding and non-coding reasons, and associating biological information with these elements. Gene annotation can be broken down into two main categories, that is structural annotation, which identify genomic features such as open reading frames and coding sequences, and the other one is the functional annotation, which assigns biological role to these features based on experimental data or computational prediction. Here are some of the significant importance of studying the gene annotation. Studying gene annotation is crucial for several reasons. Number one is understanding the genome. It allows researcher to interpret the genetic blueprint of organism, thus providing insight into their biology and evolution. It also helps in functional predictions. Annotated genome enables predictions about gene function, interaction, and regulatory mechanism which are essential for the field like genetics, molecular biology, and biotechnology. It also facilitates the research. Accurate annotations support various applications in medicine, agriculture, environmental science by guiding the experimental design and hypothesis. These are some of the key points about gene annotation. Gene annotation includes sequencing the genome, identifying the gene, predicting their function, and linking them to the biological processes. While many annotations are generated automatically using bioinformatics tool, manual curation by expert is often necessary to improve the accuracy. This field is evolving with advancement in sequencing technology and computational method that enhances the quality and scope of annotation. These are some of the tips to study gene annotation. Start with familiarizing yourself with the genomic databases. Try to explore the resources like GeneBank, Enzymal, UCSC Genome Browser for practical insight in gene annotation. You can also utilize bioinformatics tool. Learn to use tools like BLAST for sequence alignment and gene prediction softwares like GeneMark or Glimmer. You must also engage in practical projects. Try to participate in hands-on project or workshop that involves annotating the genomes to gain the experience. Stay updated on the literature. You can follow the recent scientific publication and review in genomic to understand the current challenges and also solution in the gene annotation. These are some of the significant bioinformatics tools for gene annotation. You can try BLAST, which is a sequence alignment tool which identify homologous sequence quickly. You can also try GeneMark, which predict protein coding gene, which is effective for genome annotation. Try Glimmer which is a gene prediction tool for microbial genome and has high sensitivity for finding coding region. You can also try Augustus, which predicts gene in eukaryotic genome. This incorporates known gene structure for accuracy. You can also try InterproScan for functional analysis of protein sequences. This provides insight into protein families. You must also try KEG, which is a metabolic pathway mapping, which helps in understanding the biochemical pathways. You can also try UCSC Genome Browser for visualization of genomic data, which is user-friendly interface for exploring the annotations. These are some of the basic concepts of gene annotation. If you talk about the definition, gene annotation refers to the process of attaching biological information to genomic sequence. It is typically include two main steps. One is gene prediction, that is identifying the element within the genome, such as open reading frame, that is ORF and the coding sequence that is CDS. And the another one is functional annotation, which is assigning the biological role to these identified elements based on experimental or computational prediction. You will find out these common vocabulary when doing such kind of project. The number one is genome, which is a complete set of gene or specific genetic material present in cell or organism. The next one is open reading frame that is ORF which is a continuous stress of codons that begins with the start codon and end with the stop codon, potentially coding for a protein. The next one is coding sequence, that is CDS, the portion of gene that is translated into protein. The another common one is non-coding reason, 
This is a part of genome that do not code for protein but may have regulatory functions. The another common word is annotation pipeline. It's a series of computational steps used to annotate the genomic data, often involving both automatic tools and manual curation. The another common terms are structural annotation, which is identifying the physical location of genomic features such as gene, exon, intron, or regulatory motifs. The another one is functional annotation, which is describing the biological function of gene and their product based on experimental evidence or computational prediction. The next commonly used one is curation. This is a process of reviewing and refining the annotation to improve the accuracy and often performed by the bioID expert in the field. The next is homology search, a method used to find similar sequences in different organisms, typically using tools like BLAS to understand the function based on similarity to known gene. These are some of the common challenges in gene annotation studies. The number one is accuracy issue. Automated annotation often contain errors due to incomplete or fragmented genome assemblies. To overcome this, combine automated prediction with manual curation to verify your result. The next is complexity of non-coding reason. Identifying regulatory element can be challenging due to their diverse function and structure. To overcome this, you can utilize advanced computational tools that can analyze transcription factor, binding site, and chromatin accessibility. The next challenge is with the data overload. The rapid increase in genomic data can be daunting for researcher. And to overcome this, you must implement data management strategy and prioritize high quality data set for analysis. The another common challenge is integration of multiomic data. Combining genomic data with transcriptomic and proteomic data for comprehensive annotation can also be a difficult task. You can employ integrative bioinformatic approaches that harmonizes different type of biological data. By addressing these challenges through the careful planning and the use of appropriate bioinformatics tools, researchers and scientists can enhance the quality and utility of gene annotation significantly. Gene annotation serve as a foundation step in genomic research, allowing scientists to interpret complex genetic information effectively. I hope you have liked the session. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavors. If you are interested in learning gene annotation tools and the concept and doing such project, you can contact us at the Molex Informatic. Thank you.